Hey, welcome back. We just tested 20 of the most popular protein bars in the US, and today I'm gonna give you a quick overview of what we found. Check it out. Here, we have the 20 protein bars that we tested, and in this video, I wanna give you a few tips on what to look out for, explain how we did our testing, and point out a few products to start off from the rest. So what's typically in a protein bar? Well, the protein part of the protein bar is typically going to come from an animal source. That's typically whey or casein protein. However, more and more products are popping up with vegan and vegetarian protein sources. Typically, those are gonna be soy, pea, and rice proteins. Besides protein, these little bars often contain sugar, carbohydrates, as well as fats and oils, sodium, flavorings, and added dyes. Secondary to these ingredients, some of our bars also contain whole foods, such as nuts and dried fruits. How much protein do you need? Well, average protein intake is going to vary from person to person and is going to be dependent on factors such as age and gender, as well as BMI, body mass index, and certain medical conditions. The current US RDA, or recommended daily allowance, is currently 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. So that means to get your individual RDA, you're gonna to wanna to multiply your weight in kilograms by 0.8. However, for those of you that are pretty active out there, the International Society of Sports Nutrition is currently recommending 1.4 to 2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. While an excessive protein intake may worsen a pre-existing kidney condition, you're also gonna to wanna to pay attention to the recommended limits for fats, sugar, and sodium. We've listed these limits for you here. Now, let's get into our testing data. All of our products were tested for protein and free amino acid content, as well as fats, sugar, sodium, and carbohydrates. Each product was also tested for vitamins and minerals, as well as the presence of any heavy metals. All products were graded on label accuracy, product purity, nutrition, product safety, and efficacy. Across the category, products tended to do fairly well in terms of protein label accuracy claims. However, we learned of a few products that were really off in terms of their fat claims. We also found some products that had high lead levels. We also found additives that have been linked to cancer, heart disease, and diabetes. So you're gonna wanna check our full reports for more information. And now, I wanna highlight a few products to start off from the rest. When you get to Labdoor's full protein bar rankings, you're gonna see that our number one quality ranked product is made by Quest Nutrition and it's ranked in A-. This bar has 21 grams of protein, sourced from milk and whey, and 22 grams of carbs, and recorded no concerning levels of any heavy metals. We did, however, tag it for sucralose, an artificial sweetener which some people may be sensitive to. In case you prefer a plant-based protein, Kind's Strong and Kind Protein Bar ranks number 11 in quality, and it has 11 grams of protein per serving. The protein in this bar is sourced from pea, rice, and hemp, and it has 15 grams of carbs. This product was graded a B minus mainly because it didn't have a lot of protein, actually about half the category average of 20 grams per bar. So that was just two of the 20 protein bars that we've highlighted in this category. For a full list of the rankings and to see our product reports, head on over to labdoor.com. So that's it for this review. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can be the first to see our latest videos. And also, make sure you leave a comment below let us know a product you want to see tested next. So that's it guys, see you next time.